Hey guys, I made a chandelier and it's so pretty and I did promise I was going to show you guys how to make all the DIYs with spoons and this is just one of them and let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be needing a board and we're going to be cutting it down to size. We're going to be needing two so we can be thick enough for the design and we're going to be covering the sides or edges with masking tape. We're going to be spraying it silver and using a diamond wrap around it and a reflective paper in the middle and I created a hole in the middle also for the design that I intend to make later on for the project. We're going to be kneading bamboo skewers and cutting them down to size and gluing them in twos with the wood glue and making squares out of them. A full list of items used for this project will be in the description box below and I made a smaller square and that's just 4 inches and I spray painted everything silver. I'll be using these fishing lines and using them for the rope for the chandelier. It's transparent and it's perfect. And I'll be using these bamboo skewers as a guide so I can cut them down to different lengths. The next step is to glue down the fishing lines on four corners of each of the squares and gluing them down on the main board with a hot glue gun. The next step is to make the design for the middle of the chandelier using spoons and acrylic gems. A full list of all the items used will be in the description box below. Here I'm just trying to make a slanting design and I'm trying to make sure that I have the next spoon coming in lower than the first and it goes on and on and on and connecting them with an acrylic gem. This is what it should look like and I made two of them. We're going to be attaching one piece to the other piece and using an acrylic gem as the connector but you have to make sure that you tilt one of the designs a little bit so we can make a curve. This is what we have and we're going to make another one of this in size gluing them together and the final look should be like this. Moving on, we're going to be making a hole in the middle using an X-Acto knife and putting the design right in the middle just so it sits well so it can really really be snug. We're going to be using a hot glue gun to hold it in. We're going to be using something again to support it so it doesn't fall and following it round with an A6000 glue. The lighting for the chandelier has a timer which is perfect because I don't have to use my hands to turn it on and off. <laughs> the board here you see is just to compensate for the height of the battery pack at the back of the board. You can hang it with command strips but I use nails because of the texture of my ceiling. These are mirrors that are one inch and it will be placed or glued around the top of the design and using acrylic gems at the edges of the skewers. I'll be using a thin strip of diamond wrap to cover up the corner where the mirrors meet. I'm cutting out the parts of the spoon that I'll be needing for the design and this is how the design is going to be laid out on the skewers but I don't like the top so I'll be using these beads to cover up the top and gluing them down with a hot glue gun. Here's your finished look. I love the way it turned out. I love the way the mirror at the top is just giving up its own reflection. It's just so pretty and shiny. The lighting comes with a timer which is perfect because I don't have to climb up there and turn it on and off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do remember to like and share and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.